Good morning, Facebook family, or evening, depending on where you are. Welcome back to Photon Rookie. My name's Jim, and today we're going to do a simple, much-requested tutorial about how to transfer your FITS files from your C-Star to your computer and start stacking. As many of you know, when I start my tutorials, I usually have the image already stacked and uh, ready to start processing, but a lot of my subscribers have asked, hey, I'm, I'm new to this. Would you please show me how to transfer the files from my C start to my computer for stacking? So that's what we're going to do today. So this, uh, this tutorial is basically for very new beginners. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to hook your C star up to your computer. You just use the charging cord with the USB and plug it into the USB on your computer. When you do that, your computer will recognize it as another drive or like a thumb drive. And the way you find it is you come down to the Windows icon and go to Documents. And for me, it put my C star as the E drive. It may, depending on the configuration of your computer, it may give it a different letter but you'll see the word C star there and you want to come down and click on this folder called my works okay so when that happens you'll have this window open up and you'll see every single folder that's on your C star I've got a lot of them here uh, most of these folders are empty because I transferred them to a permanent location on my computer but um, I still have one object that I've been doing a mosaic on the last several nights. It's NGC 6960, the Western Veil. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll scroll down till we find that and it's mosaic. So here it is here. You have your your thumbnails and your JPG pictures in this file and there'll be a second style, uh, file with the word sub at the end of it and that's where your your FITS files are that you took during observation of the object. So what you want to do is you want to click on this file that has sub on it. When you do, it's going to open up all the files, all the light fits that you took during observation. Now it's important to note that not only are your fits files on here, but also all your JPEG files are on here. Uh, these JPEG files are just uh, thumbnails and then pictures of each individual frame that you took. Some people use them for some things. I, I don't even keep them. So the first thing I do before even transferring files is I go ahead and delete those. So leave your fits alone. If you have to, sort them to, to get them separated from the JPEG. But once you got them separated, just click the top JPEG. Scroll down to the bottom, hold your shift key down and click the last one. All those will be highlighted. You right click and then delete. It'll, it'll ask you if you, you're sure you want to permanently delete these files. So hit yes. And we'll get rid of those and we'll be left with nothing but the FITS files. Okay, all the JPEGs are gone and we're left with nothing but the FITS files. So what we want to do is we want to take all of these FITS files off of the C-Star and put them into a file on our computer. So I'm going to come down here to the Windows icon, hit Documents again, and I'm going to open the... Uh, I'm going to open the folder where I keep all of my FITS files in and I keep it on my D drive and I keep it in a folder called C star S50 right here and again I go into the hero my hero folder and I have two folders here S30 light frames and S50 light frames these particular frames are from my S50, so I'm going to open my S50 folder and I'm going to look for 
mosaic subs because this is a mosaic that I took on this object. So I have another subfolder for those. And again, I'm just showing you where I put mine. You can create a folder or a repository anywhere on your computer to put these FITS files in. So I've already collected some mosaic on NGC 6960 and they're here. And just to show you how many light frames I already have saved up from previous sessions, you do properties and I've got 1549 frames FITS files for NGC 6960 already located here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my latest observations and add them to this. Now, mosaics are a little bit different because there is a like a speed limit. You can only stack 20, 2000, you can only stack 2048 FITS files with the mosaic script. It's not like the regular processing script where you can modify it to allow unlimited stacking unlimited numbers of files. With this we have a hard fast speed limit. There's not a workaround for it yet. There could be in the future, but since we have that limitation I'm going to keep this new batch separate from the first batch so that I can stack them separately <clears throat> and then I can stack the resultant fit files together. But that'll be in my next video I'm going to do after this one. For right now we're just going to transfer these new FITS files from the C-Star into my computer and we're going to put it in this new folder I call Lights Batch 2. So we open it up and you see it's empty there. Let's go ahead and open the C-Star folder. Okay, the box on the left are the FITS files still residing inside the C-Star. The box on the right is the empty folder that I want to transfer these files to. So to do that You want to scroll all the way to the top of the list. You want to highlight the first file. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Hold the shift key down. Highlight the last one. Now you've selected all the files in the C star. So we're going to right click. Now you can hit copy and then paste over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit cut and paste. That way it will move all these files into my folder on the computer and then it will delete them off the C star freeing up space. You can go back later and manually delete them if you want to. I just prefer to do it this way because it's all in one clean step. So we select cut, come over here and right click and paste. And there's the the uh, progress box there and it shows that we have 1740 FITS files that we are transferring from our C-Star S50 into our computer. So I'll do a time jump here and come back when this is done and we'll go to the next step. Okay we're just about done here. You can see all the files are just about transferred from the C-Star over to the computer on the right and it just finished so all the files are now deleted from the C-Star and they're now located on the computer in the file where I park my FIT files. So you can close the C-Star box. You can power down your C-Star. Shutting down. And you can unplug it from your computer. You're done with the C-Star now and you have all your FITS files transferred. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get these lights into serial so that we can start stacking them. So what I'm doing right now is I'm hooking my external hard drive up. I have to use one because stacking this many FIT files takes a lot of hard drive space. So I highly recommend if you're tight on hard drive space to get an external drive to do your stacking on. So here my external drive just opened up. So you can see I have a folder on my external drive called serial stacking processing file. This is the file that is the work folder that I use in serial. So we open this up and you'll see several different folders on here. I'm going to open the lights folder and I'm going to take all these files, these FITS files I just transferred from the C-Star into the computer. 
I'm going to take these files and copy them into my processing file folder for Cyril here, located on my external hard drive. Again, the way you do that, same way, you make sure you scroll to the top of your list, select the first one on the list, then you want to scroll down to the bottom, hold the shift key down and select, then you want to hit copy, don't hit cut this time unless you don't want to keep the FITS files on your computer. I've kept every FITS file I've ever taken. I've got quite a large collection, hundreds of thousands of FITS files. I keep them. So in my case, I'm not going to cut them. I'm just going to hit copy. I'm going to come over here, right click and hit paste. Now we are transferring the FITS files from our computer into our serial work folder, which in my case is on an external drive. So we'll skip this part and get to the end real quick. Okay, so we've skipped forward about five or six minutes. So the transfer is just about complete. There it's done. So just to recap, review what we've done so far, we hooked the C-Star up to our computer with the USB cable that you normally use to charge the C-Star with. We transferred the files from the C-Star into a folder where I keep all my FITS files. Then we disconnected the C-Star because now we have all the FITS files in the computer. The next step, I took all the FITS files that we transferred into the computer that I want to stack and we transfer them into our serial work folder so that we can start stacking. So that's where we are at this point. So you can close the folder that you keep your FITS in. You can go ahead and close the folder that you use for your serial work folder. The next thing we want to do is that we have the correct work folder that we just loaded our lights files into to stack. We want to make sure we have the correct work folder selected. So you want to come up here to home, this home button, click on that. And my work folder is on the E drive. And we're going to select serial stacking process file folder, which is the one we just put the lights in. And you can see the lights folder there that we just put all of our FITS files into from the computer to stack. And you want to click open. Okay. Once that's set, then we can go ahead and start running the script and start stacking. So we come up here to scripts. We come down to serial script files. We come down to the C star mosaic pre-processing file since this is a, uh, a mosaic that we're stacking and DSA Deep, Deep Space Astro, Rich over at Deep Space Astro developed this script. You can download it and insert it into Cyril uh, from his uh, YouTube channel, which is excellent by the way. So I'm going to choose that and I'm going to hit run script. And we have started the stacking process. So this ends part one. We just went over how to transfer the FITS files from your C-Star into your computer and put it into serial and start stacking. So this is the end of part one. In part two, we'll pick up where the stacking completes and we'll process the mosaic of the Veil Nebula and see how it turns out. Thanks for watching and uh, please check out part two and let's see how this uh, image turns out. Thank you.